Hi, I'm Neil Seltzer, the Princeton Review's National Content Director for the GRE and author of 1014 GRE Practice Questions. Before we jump into tips and tricks to help you crack the GRE, let's do a brief introduction. The Princeton Review is a test preparation company with offices across the United States. We have helped millions of students perform better on all types of standardized tests with our wide array of books and courses. Some books that might interest you include our newest book, 1014 GRE Questions, or for those of you taking the subject tests, our subject-specific guides to biology, chemistry, literature, math, or psychology. We also have a fantastic website where you can find helpful information about lots of different schools and multiple full-length computer adaptive tests. Just go to princetonreview.com cracking to register your book and gain access to all of this great material. This DVD is packed full of essential strategies and insider tips. But first, let's talk about a few common GRE myths. Myth number one, you can take the GRE in pencil and paper format. I'm sorry, unless you live in a few locations in Asia, the GRE is no longer available as a pencil and paper test. If you're taking the test in the United States, you must take the Computer Adaptive Test, or CAT. This is a completely different kind of test than any you're likely to have seen before. Knowing how a CAT test is different from a pencil and paper test is essential to hitting your target score, and you should have a target score. Myth number two, there's such a thing as a good or a bad GRE score. Not true. The GRE is used in a wide variety of ways. Some schools have a minimum score that you must hit. Others will look only at your math or your verbal score. While at some highly competitive programs, every number will count. There's only the score you have now and the score you need to get into the program you want. The gap between these two scores represents the amount of work you must do between now and your test date. Myth number three, you are no good at math, so you will always do badly on the math portion. This isn't true either. You learned the vast majority of the math you will see in the GRE by the time you were in sixth grade. There's only about a dozen math concepts tested in the GRE, and you already know most of them. The ones you don't know, or have forgotten, are thoroughly covered in all of these books and DVDs. With the right tools and enough practice, anyone, even you, can master GRE math. More explanation and exploration of these myths and other key GRE information is coming right up. Let's get cracking. Your DVD tutors await.